be making bases. What's good YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. So check this out today. We're going to be talking about how to make some dope hi-hat rolls, okay? You heard about snare rolls, but how do you make hi-hat rolls? So to demonstrate this, I'm going to let you listen to this beat, just a little bit of this section of this beat. I'm going to show you these hi-hat rolls and then we're going to show you how to actually make them. So let's go. Cool. So when I say hi-hat rolls, I'm more so talking about this guy right here. All right. And so if I was like to solo this out, so you just play it from right here. That's a snip. That's a hi-hat roll. I have this other one too that we do we did. And this one is here. All right. And so now let's break down how are we making these hi-hat rolls. It's very, very simple overall. Um, so let's just, you know, take this um, playhead, right? That's the first thing you want to identify is where you want the hi-hat roll to start. So you're going to use the playhead, okay? This is this big white line. And if you open up the scissors, you're going to see this window open up. And you'll use the playhead, which is right here, up here, or right here, to identify where on the timeline that you want your snare or your excuse me your hi-hat roll to begin so if we're going to start this hi-hat roll at the same place that we started it right here okay what i'm going to do is just move my playhead to where i want it and then from there we're going to push command to pull up this pencil and we're going to start creating notes so this is all you have to do is click and you have a note here now usually when you click there the note might be like this long. And so what you wanna do is you wanna just come over here until you see this option right there and then just drag it down to probably like the smaller or smallest uh, option. Then you hold down option to zoom in. You just scroll left or right on your uh, trackpad or your, um, or your mouse. Okay, and what you wanna do is just take this note and just space it out at fine or small increments. To make it easy, like once you got three or four of these spaced out, you can highlight them and then just keep on spacing out with the bigger option. Cool. Now, if you wanna make sure that you have everything on point, all you have to do is go over here to time quantize and you're going to want to select the larger options, one over 64, one over 62, uh, 32. You want to look at even some of these options with these triplets. So as you saw, that's, that's not going to work out because the the, uh, the notes are very small. And the triplets is not going to be the best thing for this. So you could just push Command Z. And we're going to want to go with like 30, one over 32. It looks like you got to go even more. So like for this situation, I wouldn't really too much worry about it um, as long as it sounds decent. So um, you can see that they're spread out pretty much on point here. You might want to, because these are pretty small. You just want to make sure it has round about the same amount of space in each note. Yeah. So now let's listen to this, this row. Okay. So based on how you want this hat, hat roll to sound, um, you could either leave it like this or you can go in here and mess with the velocity settings and it's going to change the way this roll sounds. So like it could sound basic like this. Or you can come over here to the velocity settings. Make sure it says velocity right there. If it doesn't, you can just find it. 
And then you're just going to take this uh, mouse and click down here. And you can either do a slope down or slope up. So, And as you can see, it's going so fast that you can't really hear it. But if I was to spread these notes out, you know what I mean? You're going to you're gonna see the difference. So like, for instance, if I, if I did this pattern over again, maybe move the note like here, here, here. And then came over here, did the 164th, there you go. And then copy this. You can hold down option and drag it over. All right. And now you have like a, it's still fast, but it's not as super fast as it was before. So basically, however long you make this go is however long the row is going to be. See what I'm saying? And then when you highlight it and put the velocity set settings on there like this, do a slope up or down, it gives a pretty dope, um, you know, effect to the, to the, to the hi-hats. You know what I mean? There you go. And you could do, like I said, you could do the slope up as well. And so, based with, with those couple of different tips here, you could take this hi hat pattern. I'm going to scroll in here and I could just highlight this, push Command C to copy it, and I could paste it anywhere on the uh, grid that I want. So, say if I wanted it to be like right there push command V and it's right there all right so check this out like say if I want to just play this with the actual beat maybe cut out the original hi-hats and play this with the beat this is how it sounds You know what I'm saying? So it's just a quick way to build your own hat rolls and make your high hat patterns sound more interesting. If you want more tips like this, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Also, just to let you know, we do have a course that you get or several courses you can get from my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Just click the links below or go to beatmakingbasics.com and you can download courses, full video courses with uh, a structured curriculum and everything right onto your computer. Um, and then also we have sound kits and uh, drum kits that you can get. So we got a, a drum kit and a melody pack that you can get. has different loops, different sounds, and stuff like that. And then last but not least, we also have our 100K giveaway that we're doing. We are going to be doing this now. Listen, don't miss out. We have a lot of cool prizes planned. Um, basically on our journey to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube on this channel. All right. On our journey. Um, at certain milestones, we're going to be giving away cool prizes just to say thank you to the community. OK, like our first milestone is at 10,000 subscribers. Not too far away, man. And um, we're going to be giving away a pair of headphones. OK, some some lucky person is going to get a pair of headphones. All you have to do in order to enter yourself to win is to actually be subscribed to the channel and then also go to beatmakingbasics.com and download the 100k subscriber bundle pack it's only five dollars to enter plus i give you some sounds and some tutorials along with that pack so it's really a no-brainer um but yeah y'all i'll see you in the next video appreciate you